All because of this unassuming ranch in Florence, Texas, known the world over as the Galt Site. And this is board member Tim Brown. It's not an overstatement to say that the Galt Site changed the entire narrative of the North American continent. Well said. This is one of the most important archaeological sites in North America. It blows my mind because it's in one of the most unexpected, you know, unpublicized parts of Texas right here. Well, I tell people one of the most remarkable things about it is it's so unremarkable. And yet what's under our feet is so important in terms of uh, what we've learned about the early presence of man in the Western Hemisphere. So generally speaking, the further down you dig, the further back in time you go. And for about a century, we've thought humans first came to North America 13,000 years ago. We call them the Clovis people. But then came Galt, with undeniable evidence of humans right here 20,000 years ago. It was an archaeological bomb. What do they find that goes back 20,000 years? The projectile points like this, clearly somebody took the time to sit there and engrave designs on this little piece of rock. What it meant to them, we have no idea. This one we refer to as the wheat stone. It's got stems, and then up here it looks like little seed pods or some kind of plant. That's cool. So these are like uh, prehistoric doodles? Yeah. Basically? Yeah. Before the big discoveries, this ranch had been known for decades as a great place to pay to dig for arrowheads. The sheer abundance of artifacts caught the attention of Dr. Michael Collins, who knew there had to be more. And after eight years of digging, he and his team not only uncovered our continent's largest treasure trove of Clovis material, but also artifacts that predate Clovis by thousands of years. Complete surprise. This is the older than Clovis material. They look more like something in the archaic much later. Yes. But this is 5,000 years older than that. So I see this. Is this the right depth? That is. And the archaic feet. material that's three and 4,000 years old is up here. And then you get down into the Clovis stuff down here. You can see artifacts sticking out. Oh my gosh. And it's amazing how much important material gets tossed over the shoulder of people who are just artifact collectors. Yeah, I'm probably guilty of all that. Ah, it doesn't have a point or ah. It's like, yeah, it doesn't look like something, you know, you get at a souvenir shop. Precisely. Right. Now the points they found are not arrowheads. Bow and arrow didn't exist yet. They're spear points for an atlatl. Like that. Okay, that could kill a mammoth, I think. Have you gotten better at this over the nah, years? I've, I've never had fooled with them. <laughs> <laughs> that was his first throw ever. Showing somebody how to do it is as far as I go. Full baseball windup? Yeah, it's nice. Oh, yep, that's, yeah, and that's it. That. Definitely killed that <laughs> animal. We're not eating for a few days, guys, sorry. I guess I would have been a little more gatherer than hunter. Time to get our boots dirty and see the actual site, which oddly looks just like every other ranch in the area. So what made this one special? You've got this high quality chert that's embedded in this Edwards limestone and it erodes out on these cliff faces, but it also erodes out on these slopes. So the prehistoric tool makers love this stuff. Your supply store. That's your hardware right store right yeah. there, yep. The deep pits have been filled in to protect the remaining artifacts, but there are fragments everywhere. The first time I saw this place, it looked like a war zone. Bring a shovel and you might find a couple arrowheads. Or you might find a hat full. It was a rich site. It was a vast wow. archaic site. So look at this, all lithic scatter pieces that have been broken off by human hands as they were trying to make a point. Daniel, you're standing on prehistoric what? artifacts. Get, get, move back. No, don't stand there doing? either. Move, move over. What are you doing? So Chet's got the bug. Tim, but see, the bad thing is, once you start, you can't stop. I got, believe me, it's a disease. Hey, Greg, just hold all this for me. All right, You're going to make me an art and craft later. No, we didn't actually take artifacts. But it is amazing to stand in the place that's helping uncover the true story of how we got here. How much is just under our feet? left to be discovered. That's the question that makes all this worthwhile. We think we've got everything figured out and we're just scratching the surface. What's been learned here at Galt, if it taught us anything, is that we don't know much. That right there just gets me so inspired for the future. Yeah, you know? exactly. What will our grandkids know that we'll go, ah, oh, how did we miss it? How did we miss it? Yeah. yeah. Nothing like a prehistoric walk to get some perspective on just how long people have lived in this land we now call Texas. To see the full episode or to get info about how to visit this spot, trip on over to thedaytripper.com.